I'm delighted to welcome Valli Arunachalam, a semiconductor technologist and nuclear scientist. What a combination with amazing business acumen to our show. Thank you, Ranjini. And I'm delighted to be here and I can't wait to share. What was the one thing that you held high in your mind as you went on to work for your rights? So Ranjini, one important word, belief. It was my belief that women and men are created equal, girls and boys are created equal, that kept me going through my six year David versus Goliath fight. And you know, the other thing is my cause, it was larger than myself. I felt this responsibility that I am fighting for all daughters in India for their rights. And you know, I was a realist, I knew getting into this fight, it's going to be tough. But I also have a PhD where P stands for perseverance, H stands for hard work, and D stands for determination. And I knew that with these three qualities, I could prevail. Bali, that's great. Can you tell us also, what is your vision for this amazing initiative of Women Up Tamil Nadu? Yeah, so, you know, as I told you, I will be a lifelong crusader for women and girls' rights. And Women Up Tamil Nadu was founded as a vehicle to carry forward this mission and vision. Um, and what we are is we are a cohort of women from various fields um, who have made it to the top. Um, and we believe that by collectively interacting with each other, brainstorming, we can ensure that we act to empower women rather than just talk. So this is the, the, the uh, very foundations of uh, Women Up Tamil Nadu is to focus on action because it's only with action that we can solve problems. In Tamil Nadu, we want to inspire movements in all other states in India and make this a pan-India movement. And this is our vision and mission. And Champion Women is doing amazing things. And I think it's important that organizations such as Women Up, Champion Women, they all um, collaborate and partner with each other to further the cause for women. We'd be delighted to be under your guidance to do it. Thank you. I wonder, Ali, if you can tell us what are three things that women should keep updated in their life and work in order to succeed and be happy? See, I'll answer it from my personal learning. All right? In my fight, what really kept me going is belief. Mm -hmm. Belief in myself. And often I think that's where women need, you know, they really need to work on it they are capable. They just need to believe that they are capable. That's one thing, belief. Okay. Second is passion. It has to be a passion that is overarching, not just, you know, a narrow thing like, oh, I want to get this job promotion. A passion to do something that is bigger than yourself because that is what will keep you going like an energizer bunny, if I may say so. Right. And then the third thing is be humble and be a lifelong learner. Mm. Even if you get to the top, you know, I'll give you an example. I'm a big tennis fan. Okay. Uh, I, at one time I visited in, uh, Wimbledon and I watched some of the matches. And someone next to me who was a tennis expert told me, you know, Roger Federer, he's a millionaire, but he plays like a pauper. Mm. Right. What that meant is like he is constantly learning even though he's the best in the world. So I think it would behoove women to keep on being, be a lifelong learner. And one of, I think the Achilles heel for many women is communication skills, right? They are brilliant, they are capable, but a lot of times they fall short unless you communicate with others. Tell people what you are doing, right? You don't, unfortunately, you don't get ahead in life. And also what support you need. Tell people Exactly. That. Ask. So these are all, you know, keep developing your communication skills till the day you drop dead. 
Champion mm-hmm. Women's Circle and the entire movement works to help educated women live out their fullest potential. Mm-hmm. And now with the artificial intelligence coming on so yes. strong, what do you think is going to happen with women's careers and how can they win in the game? Excellent question. Let me get out my crystal ball. But first of all, Ranjini, um, I am so honored to be part of Champion Women, the Founder Circle. Um, and you have assembled together a wonderful um, uh, cohort of very accomplished women from different backgrounds. And I can't wait to brainstorm and collaborate with them to unleash the full potential of women. Now, moving on to AI. What does it stand for? Artificial intelligence, right? For you, me, human beings, we possess genuine, sincere intelligence. Genuine and sincere is the opposite of artificial. So, don't worry. Artificial intelligence is not going to take over our lives. We are still we hold on to the keys. It can never take over sincerity, love, uh, understanding, the neural networks in the brain. It, we cannot rep- replicate it. I believe that firmly. The other thing is, yes, artificial intelligence, it may take over mundane things, repetitive tasks. Right? That, that will be the, 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 the first foray. Right? So some jobs, of course, will get eliminated. Didn't they get eliminated in the age of industrialization? Well, this is the age of artificial intelligence. There will be some jobs that will fall by the wayside. But just like nature, when something decays, something grows. Right? So uh, there will be new jobs created. But if there's one thing that's constant in life, it is change. And it's up to us to be able to adapt to change and to realize that perhaps we need to reskill, we need to take some risks. And if we do that, I am sure we will be masters of artificial intelligence. This question has often come to any women nowadays. Mm. After the pandemic, I don't know, the women's careers seem to be taking a backseat, right? Mm -hmm. So what are two things, two things that women can do to accelerate coming back to the workforce? That's a very insightful question, um, Ranjini. Um, I mean, the world is changing, right? Before we did things physically, right? We met one-on-one. There's nothing wrong with that. But now, it has cha- the paradigm has changed to everything being done online because things are moving faster. We have computers. So we are leveraging that for communication, for social, uh, you know, social and business, um, and even meetings, you know, Zoom meetings, uh, etc. So, uh, you know, it's a new normal. And uh, we have to adapt to the new normal and um, reskill ourselves. Uh, there's plenty of online courses available which we can avail of. Um, the other thing is embrace the new normal, reskill, and be brave enough to take risks. You know, I'll give you an example of a risk that I took. All right, I got a PhD in nuclear engineering, but my first job was in the semiconductor industry. Shocking, right? But actually, no, because someone believed in me that the research that I had done in my in the nuclear industry could be used to fast track technology in the semiconductor industry. I didn't believe it, but I took a risk and it paid off big time. So take those risks, calculated risks and they'll pay off. Vali, I'd love to hear a one liner. What is your success mantra? It's three Simple letters, P-H-D. Passion, hard work, determination. Thank you, Vali, for being here today and having done such a lovely job of sharing. I think people who watch this will have self-transformation aha moments as you shared so many practical things in your talk today. Thank you very much. Stay in touch with Champion Woman on our LinkedIn, in our YouTube and all our social media channels because we will bring wisdom from so many women like Vali to it. Thank you, Ranjini. Looking forward to your success.